And it's great to be with you, with Carl and Dietra again. I've been doing business in China for 40 years. I'm on the eighth five-year plan that they have. The five-year plans actually say where they're going to go. Uh, for the first 30 years, it was a win-win mentality. I did a joint venture with Wang Laboratories there the first one in the industry. At Cisco, even though negotiations were tough, it was always a win-win mentality. And as a whole, we worked through all the issues. The last 10 years have been a change. It's It's been more of a win-lose and with the Chinese government wanting to influence more control, not only over the American high-tech companies operating in China, but of the Chinese startups, et cetera. Uh, I think it will probably get a little bit tougher before it gets better. Uh, I think there's, the real clear message is they are sending a message to their established companies and their startups. You've got to get our permission. We're going to give you certain guidelines in which you can play or not. And if you get out of line, we're going to bring you back in the line very quickly. From my own perspective, as I shared on you last time we talked on this, John, uh, I'm encouraging my startups not to do business in China or I'm not invested in Chinese startups at this time. It's too unpredictable, as one of your guests said earlier, and I bet what's going to be the results five and ten years out. Do I think this will eventually correct? Yes. I don't think it results in the type of, of Cold War that some other people referred to, but I think it will get bumpier before it gets better. Huh. And so does it put... Chinese companies at a disadvantage as they try to amass uh, capital in order to compete on a global stage? Or is China just big enough that despite the fact that it might kneecap a company now and then to try to assert uh, its control and message, you know, it, the, the money that it's spreading around the world in order to garner influence is going to protect its companies as well? It's somewhere between the two, John, and, and I think that's the right way to frame the question. Uh, on the positive side, they are going to be the largest economy. I think that's a given. Uh, therefore, they have the economic strength to imp implement any one of several different scenarios. On the negative side, it will slow investors and the willing to share in innovation and the concern about uh, you know, in technology, uh, uh, intellectual property capabilities. Uh, so I think it will slow their tech industry and the growth. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, the real winner in this is probably India uh, in terms of perhaps emerging into the best technology place to invest in Asia for new startups. Hey, John, it's Carl. Um, it's hard hey, Carl. not to hear your comment about it getting bumpier and wonder what, what bumpier looks like. Um, how do you think this gets inflated? Uh, and, and what would the... What would the effects be on, I guess, not just Chinese equities, but overall capital markets here, too? Well, I think it's important to remember in China, whether you're a company or a government interfacing to China, predictability from the uh, outsider's perspective is key. And I think the general rule of praise in public and criticizing in private is very appropriate. Uh, in terms of uh, the challenges, I think the challenges will uh, make it more difficult for American tech companies in China. And I think it will be more difficult for the Chinese tech companies to move with the predictability you need. You know what it takes. It takes 10 years from the time you form a startup until you take it public. So I I think the challenges will be there. Some of the other issues, which I think may be of interest, Carl, is cybersecurity becomes even more of an issue and more of a concern if a government exercises a large amount of control over their tech industry. And that's one of the reasons that I think cybersecurity is probably the second most hot issue in terms of technology growth in the market and uh, right behind artificial intelligence.